Hi, it's me, God. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making bottoms. First things first, let's make them obsessed with Lady Gaga. Like, obsessed! Let's make them clap when they're angry. Let's make them a little scared of straight men. Oh, shit! Let's give them amazing fashion sense. Fastest walker in school. No math skills whatsoever at all. Like, none. A little bit of daddy issues. Just a little. Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Life size? <laughs> That's an exagger. I hate TikTok. My dad is homophobic, which is why I like to remind him that he created me. As in, I used to be one of his sperm, which means he technically had a gay man inside of him. I want a picture with my slave. And I want a picture with my king. <laughs> <laughs> So this is me with a shirt on, and this is me without a shirt on. It just proves what taking something away can add to your appeal. This is for the gays, so if you're not gay, keep scrolling. Lately my ass has been like... Okay, they're gone. Hey. When I was in seventh grade, I was in bed and my mom was sitting on the end of my bed, but I didn't know she was there. So I was thinking out loud and I was like, man, I think I might be gay. And she said, uh, without missing a beat, she called to my dad and she said, hey, Michael, you owe me $20 and I live by that. I'm literally motherfucking crying because the new... Oh my God. <laughs> so I grew up in a Catholic household and being gay was always like the scariest thing for me. But it's trending right now. The Pope just endorsed same sex. I'm shook. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay, James. Um. You know what's crazy? Every single time I get a haircut, I just sit in my car in the parking lot for a good 30 minutes just to admire myself. You know what I'm saying? As I said, right? And I feel like the universe truly knows its place when I get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? The clouds need to move out of the way. The sun is shining through. And there's nothing that I can really give an accurate description to this moment except divine intervention. Um, so when we think about time standing still, when we think about me providing you with your daily dosage of serotonin, it's moments like this. Um, so, do whatever you need in this moment in time. Like, share, comment, uh, etc., etc. To, to lock it in. Right? Um, that's all I had to say. So, you have a great day. Who is a celebrity you know you shouldn't find attractive, but you do? Fat Mac. Colin Farrell in The Lobster. Christian Bale in American Hustle. Tim Allen in The Santa Claus. Thick Thor and don't flirt with him. I'm not going to... Ah, oh, king hell, okay. <laughs> Bags! Coming and slaying the whole underworld. <laughs> Hello fucking extra. <laughs> There is only one video that lives in my head rent free. That is this one, hundred percent. I think my strategy is just go for the kiss. Maybe I'll be able to like slip tongue, and then from there things take off. And who knows? Maybe she's my first girlfriend. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Emily. I'm Josh. Hi. <laughs> um, can I kiss you? Sure.
If you are a gay man, I need you to follow me. I need more gay followers. Here's an armpit. Boom. Gay bait. All right. I am gay man. Doing gay things. To fucking be gay with me. Ah! Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Regina, wait. I didn't mean for that to happen. To find out that everyone hates me? I don't care. Regina, please. Regina, stop! Oh! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. Yeah. So don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy And that's how Regina George died. If you are a gay man, I need you to follow me. I need more gay followers. Here's an armpit. Boom. Gay bait. All right. I am gay man. Doing gay things. To fucking be gay with me. Ah! Right. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm Right, yes, absolutely. I wonder what this link could possibly lead me to. Tell me you have daddy issues without telling me you have daddy issues. This is my boyfriend. Daddy? But tell me you got a nice package without telling me you got a nice package. <laughs> tell him, honey. He doesn't. You bitch! You Oh my god, last night I drank an entire box of wine and cried myself to sleep. <laughs> why? What do you mean, why? Look, I'm gonna just say it, okay? All y'all that are like, ooh, if he ain't six foot or more, I don't want it. You can fucking have it. Short guys are hotter. All the time. Okay. Happy, happy birthday from the Chili's crew. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Hey. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> so I heard a rumor that all you have to do to get like a hundred thousand followers on TikTok is be gay and ask people to follow you. So, hey, I'm gay. Will you follow me? Hey, I got this for you. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. <clears throat> so on Friday evening, I went on a date with a woman for the first time ever. Um, and I was really, really nervous and we met at a park and we set up a picnic and we both made a bunch of food for each other. We both made way too much food. And once we met each other, the first five minutes of the date were just spent being like, you're so beautiful. No, you're so beautiful. No, you're so beautiful. And then we were just talking so much that it took us an hour before we actually started eating because we had so much to talk about. And then um, I thought I got my period, which I did um, on the white sheet that she had put down under me. And instead of freaking out or saying that's gross, she was like, that is so beautiful and holy. We ended up talking at the park for six hours until everyone else was gone. And then we went to her house and she made a fire to keep us warm and she brought out mugs of tea and snacks for us. And we were just talking and laughing so much that we didn't realize it had been nine hours. Is this what dating women is like? <laughs>